Don't know why I'm drifting, I'm drifting so Out of my mind Hey guys, this is your reading. This is a you versus them reading. This is for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. If you guys are new, welcome. <clears throat> if you like the video, uh, please show me that you like the video and hit the thumbs up. Share the video, comment. Uh, thank you for my current subscribers for always coming out and supporting me. Thank you guys so very much. Let's see. How you guys felt about the relationship with this person in the past Capricorn page of cups smitten felt like you guys were on the same page emotionally mm -hmm. flirtatious um, I feel but lighthearted um, flirtation you, you were feeling this person you were truly feeling this person. Water energy there. Cancer Scorpio Pisces energy. Let's see how this person felt about the relationship in the past. Ten of Swords. Hmm. Well, this person felt like you were stabbing them in the back that you weren't honest hmm this person felt like they were just one of not many people but like they weren't the only one that maybe you guys were entertaining other people Gemini energy there currently going on for my Capricorns. Ten of Cups. <laughs> Seems like you guys are living your best life right now. Um, you feel truly happy. You tr feel truly fulfilled. Um, emotionally. It's almost like you guys just don't have a care in the world. Like I just don't give a rat's ass at this point I'm doing me I'm gonna do what makes me happy and um, yeah let's see what's currently going on for the other person what's currently going on for the other person six of swords you know sometimes when you are living your best life and somebody else is not then they're wondering if there's something that they have done wrong maybe they misjudged you and right now I feel like this person um, is, is really trying to reconcile their thoughts and move on they're, they're trying their best to move on but because they have this sense of um, of being betrayed by you uh, I do feel that there is a is some what what do you call it? Um, there's some envy because they feel like you're not as affected by what has happened between the two of you as they are. So while you're living your best life, they're doing all they can to basically move on and get past whatever happened between the two of you. Aquarius energy there. What is influencing Capricorn? What's currently influencing Capricorn? The Empress. Just trying to be the best you. You are trying to move on. Doing you. Starting over. Doing new things. Getting your confidence like through the roof. You're holding your own here. Taurus energy. You are holding your own. Some of you may be mothers, and I mean, you know, this is what you feel like you have to do. I feel like you guys have other things in your life that's fulfilling you other than this relationship, but I do feel like this person is um, alone. They're alone, but they're not alone. Like, they have extended family 
quite possibly, but there's nothing that is occupying their mind fully um, that they are concentrating on except for what has happened between you guys, okay? So, let's see what's influencing them. What's influencing them? What's influencing them? Judgment. Hmm. They're in the process of contemplating something. I see that here with the Six of Swords. They're trying to figure out how to move on, if they should move on, if they should try again. So they're, um, they're kind of in stasis right now, trying to figure out if they should move on by themselves or try to work things out with you. It's where they're at, Scorpio energy. What's coming in for Capricorn? What's coming in for Capricorn? Six of Cups. Reminiscing. Missing this person, I feel. Just missing the whole um, relationship dynamic, I feel. Because you guys, you're like family. And you're like family to them. They're like family to you. But you do have other things going on to almost fill this void that um, this person has left. You have other things to occupy you. Them not so much. I don't get but I mean you're still reminiscing and thinking about um, the good times with this person <clears throat> the history that you have with this person what's coming in for the other person knight of swords they want to tell you something but it's like, it's really hasty, and it's, um, this person's in their head a lot. We, they have nothing but air energy here. They have judgment, but this is still thinking, trying to figure out, you know, what is the best course of action. They really want to discuss something with you, and, um... And, and I'm getting that they're angry, but they're trying to hold it back. Um, there may be a blow up between you and this person. Because they're wondering how the hell you could be so happy. And they're kind of, they're not miserable, but um, they're nowhere near happy. Okay. Let's see. What is the outcome for Capricorn? What is the outcome for Capricorn? The sun, happiness, getting what you deserve, doing you, the confidence, enlightenment. You guys have really good cards and um, I feel like you guys are coming out on the better side of things you know this person struggling a bit over here this Leo energy there I feel like you you look at you think about the good memories um, the fact that this person does feel like family to you but I do feel that the situation that you're in right now you're taking it for what it is you're taking it for exactly what it is and that whatever's happening right now um, is happening for a reason and I feel you guys you know constantly progressing constantly you're not really looking back like um, with full-on regret no what is the outcome for the other person seven of Pentacles Mm. This person basically wants to convey to you that they feel like you're just giving up, um, that you are, 
the fact that you've moved away from this relationship and have given up on it so easily is really um, unnerving to them. This person feels like you guys have a lot invested in this connection. And how could you be so happy without them? Because they're not happy without you. They feel like you should continue to invest and you should wait for them to basically catch up to where you are. Because I feel like you guys are not in a bad place whatsoever. Actually, you're in a great place. Considering. Okay. So, we have Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, um, Aquarius. I feel maybe Aries. Um, Libra is here. Gemini. Pisces is here. Okay. So, that is what I have for you. And, um, talk to you soon. Bye. Blind too long, now I finally see The real and fake, who's down for me The situation wasting my time I had enough, I'm tired of the lies Blah, 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 da-da-da-da-da What are you saying?